Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 103. This is going to be an, a second look for downtown. The race we're going to be looking at, getting a second look at, is Empire. So we've just been selected to be commander. And uh, as I specified in the last uh, Nuclear Dawn Help 103 for Empire, I prefer to build up the left side of the map. Now, in this map, it was a little bit different. You can't always just build a straight B, like a straight line, down the very left side of the map. It's a little bit risky, and it also provides uh, a lot of issues for capturing primary. So, um, the first part of the strategy still pretty much remains the same. Build a couple relay towers, just like you see here. Uh, try to put the relay towers in the positions that I put. You get to build one less, and it saves you about, you know, 1750 in credits. I put this relay tower right here because I discovered something a little bit different from the last tutorial. I actually decided to go ahead and start placing the power in this big gap here. It actually helps me get the power up closer to the middle of the map. It's a little bit riskier, but at the same time, it's also a little bit more secure because it protects us from getting cut off further back behind our line. So as you can see right here, I built another forward spawn right in front of our doorway to primary. This actually helped out a lot because our guys are doing really, really well. I built another forward spawn there. This was an, this is an exception to the strategy. I don't. I started spending a little bit more money trying to build up the middle because my guys are doing so well and they asked for the support, so I gave it to them. Um, early on in the game, one of the first things I researched was field tactics, so I built an armory. Then whatever resources I had left over, I was using that to build up the left side. There you see my guys moving up so quickly, they were actually coming up and actually hitting uh, the enemy on their entrance to primary. So if they're doing that well, there's no point in only devoting your resources to the left side. Now I did give them another spawn out here on the left side that allows them to get a good flank. They'll be able to shoot everything through that hallway. Now since now this is the weakness for building on the left side. Uh, on the, if you build and only focus on the left side of the map, they can get a chance to build up on the right side. As you can see, I'm so concentrated on getting up the left side to get up on top of that parking garage right away. that they actually started building up on the right hand side. There you go seeing me uh, doing a little bit better building fewer relay towers than in my last tutorial. Now this was a problem. I actually had to build a relay tower on top of that roof to try to take care of some buildings that they were coming up on the right side of primary. They were trying to come right up to our front door of our base which was going to be a big issue so I put another forward spawn in some supplies there. It'll allow our guys to spawn right into the action but with whatever resources I had left over, I kept trying to build up on top of the parking garage. There we go, build that power generator. Once you build the power generator, you're practically set. Now you can see my guys are fervently shooting like crazy on the right hand side. Uh, that's because they had a lot of buildings right on the right side of primary as I've you know, been repeating over and over again. Once I get just enough money to build a forward spawn, build it immediately. And then as soon as you can, get some supplies to accompany that forward spawn. Your XLs are going to be super, super, super needy for ammo. Now at one point, they... As, as I said, they were on the right side of primary and they cut off our power. So smart thing to do is just go ahead and just sell everything off. We're already practically on top of the parking garage. So let's make some money by selling off the structures that we had, do have. Also, they try to come up uh, through the left side to cut off our power. But since I had that, re that uh, power generator up on top of the roof, I sold all these structures off. Out of sight, out of mind. It kind of takes them away from wanting to come down the left side anymore. And it also... You can make a little money off of selling a lot of these structures. Now if you notice on the map you'll see I'll have two different uh, power bars. That's because they have two different power generators. They are both independent from each other. Keep that in mind because if you build an independent uh, I guess like set of power up in the front uh, that will be responsible for the forward structures. If you build more power generators in the back it will not carry all the way up to the front of the map. 
I put a, a couple turrets here. Uh, the guys were coming up on that upper second and third floor of the building right next to our forward spawn. Meanwhile, our guys on the right were doing a really great job just firing off like crazy. They were not getting any resistance. And so then, now that I got that pretty much under control, now I want to continue building up on the parking garage. Another thing that's a little bit different is you can actually build a power generator right on top of the parking garage to the right or you can put it down there on the floor. If you put it on the floor uh, they won't be able to sh see it as easily but if someone decides they want to walk across the bottom that's different. Now one thing I did a little bit different was I extended the power all the way to the right side entrance and then I uh, extended the power a little bit further down and built a power generator. This is a little bit different from the last um, tutorial I made, but it allows us to kind of pinch them in from both sides. Well, that's it. Comment, like, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.